On May 31st, 2019, Illinois voted to legalize cannabis for adult use. The state became the 11th state to allow the use of recreational marijuana, but the first state to do it legislatively. Hello, I'm Tom, an attorney at the law firm Collateral Base, but you can find me by Googling Cannabis Lawyer and going to my blog, CannabisIndustryLawyer.com, an online resource for all things legal cannabis. Like today, we are going to talk all about Illinois' new legal cannabis law. The law is called the Cannabis Regulation and Tax Act, the CRTA in Illinois, or the CURTA in New York's pronunciation. The CRTA states the General Assembly finds and declares that the use of cannabis should be legal for persons 21 years of age or older. What a great declaration. Let's dig into it. Who is allowed to sell marijuana? In the beginning, only licensed dispensaries will be allowed to sell medical marijuana when the bill became law in January of 2020. More licenses, 75 dispensary licenses, will be granted in the middle of 2020. And in 2021, another 110 dispensaries are earmarked to be granted. However, it will still be up to the municipality and county governments to say what businesses can operate in their jurisdictions and where. Speaking of where, where can you smoke cannabis in Illinois? According to the new law, cannabis smoking will be allowed at home and within the marijuana seller's premises if they have an on-premises certification, which may end up being like a liquor license, and we have yet to see that bear out. Springfield, Illinois was going to be the first public consumption lounge in Illinois, but then COVID uh, happened, and since then, well, lots of things have changed. However, smoking marijuana will still always be prohibited in the following areas. For example, public areas such as streets and parks, in motor vehicles, whether personal or otherwise, near police officers or close to school bus drivers while they are still on duty, within a school setting. However, exemptions may be made for medical marijuana. Close to anyone who is under the age of 21, stay away from people under 21 when consuming your cannabis legally. While smoking marijuana in the confines of your own home is allowed, property owners have the right to prohibit it on their premises. So check your lease. Colleges and universities will also be allowed to prohibit weed smoking within their institutions. Too bad. How much cannabis can someone possess? According to the CRTA, residents of Illinois may be allowed to possess up to 30 grams of cannabis flour, 5 grams of cannabis concentrates, and 500 milligrams of cannabis-infused products, which would be like five can chocolate bars, which each bar containing 100 milligrams, as that is the maximum amount of milligrams an edible may have, and then it would have to be comprised with 10 or more smaller parts. Cannabis-infused products include edibles, but also tinctures and topicals. Taxation for Illinois cannabis. A sales tax will be applied for all marijuana products. For instance, products whose THC is less than 35% will have a sales tax of 10%. Edibles and candy-infused products will be taxed at 20%. Products with a THC concentration over 35%, basically just concentrate, will have a sales tax of approximately 25%. Aside from the sales tax, a 7% gross tax will be imposed on the marijuana sold by growers to dispensary. It's called a cannabis cultivation privilege tax. And it's highly likely at the end of the day, the cost of all these taxes will be passed on to the consumer, which is a very important calculus in suppressing the black market in any state. The higher the taxes, the higher the price of legal cannabis, the more likely somebody might divert from the legitimate channels and go to black market channels. And where will the marijuana for sale come from in Illinois? Well, currently there's 20 marijuana cultivation licenses in Illinois. And at the beginning of January, 2020, these are the only facilities that will be allowed to grow marijuana for that year. However, this fall, there will be 40 craft growers that will be allowed to operate up to 5,000 square feet of flowering space, but they might be able to grow that to 14,000 square feet. Don't forget to click the likes and the subscribes and you'll see one of our most popular videos about craft grows. Speaking of craft grows, in 2021, 60 more craft grow licenses are up for grabs in Illinois. Can you grow marijuana in Illinois? 
marijuana cultivation will be legal for those like me and maybe you who have medical marijuana cards. Patients will be permitted to grow five cannabis plants at any given time. However, there are certain restrictions for complying with your home grow. First, it has to be in your residence. Uh, for example, if you own the residence, then it's okay. If you don't own the residence and you lease, you must kind of check with your landlord and get their approval. Finally, you are not allowed to have five plants per patient, but only per household. So if you and your significant other both have your medical marijuana cards, you're only allowed five plants. And it must be grown in an enclosed, locked place that you keep free from children under 21 and that is not visible from the street. Sometimes we get questions, can I grow my medical cannabis home grow in a greenhouse? Perhaps if that greenhouse is not visible from the public streets and it counts as an enclosed locked space. The statute under Article 10 for personal use actually goes into great amounts of detail as to what people may grow cannabis for personal use. Hint, medical patients at their primary residence. Plus, you also need to be a resident of the state of Illinois to be able to grow weed at home. According to the law though, this is only residing in the state of Illinois for 30 days. Therefore, if you're a medical patient from out of state and you decide to move to Illinois so that you can get your medical card and grow your own medicine, by the time you get your medical card after about 30 days, you can start growing your own medicine. Where do you get marijuana seeds? Well, again, I've done a video on this uh, and I tried to be as compliant with YouTube's regulations. For example, you and everybody at home that you show this to should always comply with their state's laws and respect the marijuana plant and advocate for legislative action at the federal level to end Schedule One substance classification of marijuana. It should also be retitled cannabis. So check out that video up there on how to find legal cannabis seeds online. The only people that are allowed to sell marijuana seeds in Illinois are going to be the dispensaries. It's still illegal for people to sell marijuana seeds. Many people confuse this. Many people think they can give them away or their souvenirs. Uh, be careful, always follow your laws. Speaking of that, let's get back to cannabis use and possession by people under 21. According to the new law, possession of cannabis by anybody under 21 is still a criminal offense, just like underage drinking. Punishment for such offense is, will depend on the circumstances at hand and may include revocation of a driver's license if the person is driving a vehicle at the time they committed the offense. A fine of not less than $500 if a parent or guardian allows anyone in their possession to use cannabis. Jail if there are other crimes that have been committed while under the influence of marijuana. While you are required to produce identifications to verify your age when buying marijuana products, your personal information will be protected for privacy purposes. The sellers will not be required to record your personal information. If they do, they will need to first get your consent. Now that this bill has become a law, those who want to take marijuana for recreational or medical purposes will have a much easier time getting the cannabis products they want or need. They will also get a value for their money because all business transactions will be done in accordance with the law. Stay compliant, license holders. However, those below the ages of 21 must watch out and not use cannabis because it is still illegal for them and may land them into trouble with law enforcement officers. And none of our subscribers want that. That is a brief summation of the Illinois weed laws. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Cannabis Legalization News. And I will see you Wednesdays at 2 p.m. And then also on Sundays, please do tune in for our Cannabis Congregation, where we talk with activists about the movement. If you have any questions, hit me up at CannabisIndustryLawyer.com. Until next time.